Wow, the Champions League people. So many unexpected results. And this is why we love the Champions League. You know, we didn't really know what to expect with the new formula of the Champions League. The new format of the Champions League. Like now, it's called the League Phase. Everybody on the same table. So confusing. 36 teams. We were not sure. But I have to tell you what. Match day two on Wednesday really delivered. Because we love the, the story of the underdogs. We love to see big teams beaten. And it, uh, it delivered today. So in this video, we're going to discuss about the games on Tuesday and Wednesday. We're going to focus more on Wednesday because it was really crazy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. The channel is for the people and you are part of the people. So the channel is for you. Smash the like button and let's go. Alright, my people, let's now go and talk about the result. Reminding you the result on Tuesday. Salzburg lost against Brest, which is very surprising. They lost their home, and we all know that Salzburg been almost every single season in the Champions League. They have experience. They have better players than Brest. Brest is a small team from France who just got in the Champions League, just like a miracle. But look at them. They went away and won 4-0. Stuttgart drew against the Sparta 1-1. Arsenal 2, PSG 0. Another one that uh, people didn't really expect. They expected PSG at least to give a good fight. But Arsenal are too strong. Dortmund destroyed Celtic 7-1. Karim Adeyemi. Remember the name. The guy eat fufu all the time and he's very strong and fast. 7-1. Brendan Rodgers. I don't know what's going to happen to him. Barcelona beat Young Boys 5-0. Inter beat Red Red Star 4-0, Leverkusen beat AC Milan 1-0, PSV 1, Sporting 1. And then the last game on Tuesday was Brasilia <laughs> against Manchester City. City beat them 4-0. Some of the names are very complicated to pronounce. Let's move on. And on Wednesday, Shakhtar beaten by Atalanta at home 3-0. Girona beaten at home 2-3 against Feyenoord. Benfica destroyed Atletico Madrid 4-0. Wow, who would have thought this kind of result can happen? Yes, Benfica are giant in Europe, but... Atletico Madrid with new recruitment. A lot of money that they spent. Everybody were expecting them to do better. Look at them. They lost their way. Liverpool beat Bologna 2-0. RB Leipzig lost at home 2-3 to Juventus, who, by the way, were playing 10 against 11, and somehow they managed to win the game. Lille beat Real Madrid. Wow. <laughs> Real Madrid, the champions. 
beaten away at Lille. We're going to discuss a little bit more about that game. Some big games that we're going to throw at the end of this video. And Storm Grass beaten by Club Bruges 1-0. Aston Villa. Wow, what a result. 1 Bayern Munich 0. Dynamo, Dynamo 2. Monaco 2. Amazing, amazing day in the Champions League. We move. Now let's go to some comments because there are so many games as, as you can tell 36 teams so you can't really give more details. Look at that. Anybody that will call the French League the Farmers League you have to think about it. The Farmers League are providing quality players all over the world right now. If Look at Mbappe, look at you know so many players that always come from France this season in the Champions League a French team Monaco beat Barcelona 2-1 and today on Wednesday Lille beat Real Madrid 1-0 so if you call them the Farmers League think again <laughs> they are better than that let's go to some reactions this is from Troll Football. Real Madrid without penalties. They look like Manchester United. <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah. It's kind of funny, but it kind of like makes sense because Real Madrid got some questionable decisions going for them, especially penalties. So, yeah. It's funny, but somehow makes sense. A real scene at the st uh, start, Pierre, Pierre Mouron. The referee crying after giving a penalty against. Uh, <laughs> no, that's, this is just a uh, just troll. He didn't cry. All right, all right. <laughs> Lille beat the champions of Europe to end Real Madrid 14 game unbeaten run in the champions league yeah there is always an end for everything my friend and jonathan david is the guy who scored the penalty uh people will say yeah it's just a penalty but you have to score a penalty right we've seen so many players don't have you know the nerves to score a penalty in a situation like that you're playing real madrid that is a different kind of pressure so it is what it is let's move on and talk about another giant killer aston villa aston villa by the way are giant i'm not calling them small teams here because they already won the champions league that means they won more Champions League than Arsenal, Tottenham combined. So respect to them. But they disappeared for years. And kids today don't even understand how big Aston Villa used to be. Now they are coming back to the level they, they, they were back in the day. 1-0 John Duran. Remember the name. This guy was linked with Chelsea heavily and other teams, including West Ham. For some reason, the deal didn't go through. His price back then was like 40 million. And people backed off because of his antics. He's like a bad boy attitude, bad attitude. But in terms of football, he is very, very good. Clinical, always comes off the bench, do the job. 1982 Aston Villa 1 Bayern Munich 0 2004 Aston Villa 1 Bayern Munich 0 42 years difference same result do you think that this time Aston Villa are going all the way to win the Champions League let me know in the comment section down below and how much John Duran cost will cost today because i saw a lot of experts on internet 
who were insulting John Duran, he's not good enough, he's not Chelsea level, blah, 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 blah. 40 million. Now, if Chelsea don't go for him for 100 million, the same people will say Chelsea are lacking ambitions. Right? Same exact kind of narrative. When Victor Gikoresh was in the championship with Coventry City, 12 million price tag, Chelsea expert online, those scouts, those football geniuses, they sit the entire day in front of their computers and cell phone, insulting people, making theories, and manipulating people online because they have nothing to do. No jobs, no nothing. All they do is getting success on social media, you know, by insulting and making theories. The owners don't have any ambition if they go for a name that people don't know. If they go for unknown, no, 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 no. You have to go for for Victor Osiman. You have to go for such and such. Big names, big money, because that shows ambitions. But when somebody is in a low level, and then you can develop him in one season to make him world class. No, 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 no. We don't want that. They start insulting people. Next season, believe me, John Duran is going to cost 100 million. And the same people, the same online expert said, will say, with, they always flip flop and nobody cares because that is social media, right? You can say whatever crap you want today. Tomorrow you deny it. You manipulate people in another way. People will always believe you. That's the level we have on social media. The same people, if Chelsea don't spend 100 million for John Duran, it's going to be lack of ambition. The same people who said, if you go for John Duran for 40 or 35 million, that was a lack of ambition a few months ago. It is what it is. So look at John Duran start here. Six goals, all as sub, as a sub. Do you think that he's just a super sub or he can do it playing 90 minutes on the pitch? The way that guy strike the ball, his technique, oh my lord. Amazing. Five are winners, like five Goals out of six are all winners, match winners. I heard of Villa have won every game he scored so far. So when John Duran scores, Villa got a chance to go and win the game at the end. Let me just remind you the giant table that we have here. So don't mound at top of the table. Six point Brest, six point Benfica, six Liverpool, six Leverkusen, six Aston Villa, six Juventus, six, and then you have four point, and then you have three point, and then you have one point, and then you have zero point. Nothing is done yet, even the last on the table can still qualify. But let's wait and see. What is going to happen? <laughs> the Champions League.